Hi guys, we welcome to the Laroy Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about how to create a 3D object in Android, in which you'll be creating uh, a cube uh, 3D uh, image, whereby you can get to flip around it so that you can actually see that you can move around it in the three-dimensional uh, outlay. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining the source file of the application in which we'll be using a library from jpct underscore eae that's a jar that we'll be using so let's go to our build uh, gradle the build gradle project and the model session okay in the in the model lab uh, i have our dependencies compiles you know where we have the leaps and also calling on the jar file uh it's actually you can actually find it in the uh project files app look at the lips folder and also you see the jar file the jpct underscore ae uh the jar okay that's a particular jar file that did, that is doing uh a lot of uh functionality so i move back to the android uh model so let me collapse the android uh the app uh folder on the java okay let's let's first of all talk about the layout our layout is going to be simple because the logic is right in the Java class. Uh, the linear layout would layer with nice few parents. And also, the text view on it is 3D object. All right, uh, we're calling the drawable. Give it an icon. OK, that's the icon of the uh, application. Now uh, we have the class called Hello World. It is Hello World. I have, the, I have some imports here. The reflect field from the Java lang. Also from the Javax, you know, which is for Java UI. Okay, the micro edition, we're calling the EGL 10, the EGL config display, and the open GLES, calling the GL 10. Okay, these are very, very important. And now we imported the thread JPCT from camera, frame buffer, object 3D, prim primitives, simple vector, and so on from the JPCT library. Now let's see how we get to call these uh, functionalities in the source file. Okay, we have the hello world extends activity, and we created a static hello world master, which is used to undo and pause the resume. We have some private views, the JLS surface view, the renderer, the frame buffer, also the touch turn, touch turn up, and um, the cube. Okay. We have an uncreate method that logs on uncreate and check if the master is equals to null. If it is, it copies off the master. We have the uncreate, super uncreate, where we instantiate the MG view. Okay. Calling instantiated with the JL surface view, getting the application. Uh, we set the EGL context client version, you know, to the view. So if the GL G12 is present, it's going to run this. Else, it's going to set the config chooser, you know, uh, choose the right configuration. Okay, uh, which actually gets the renderer. All right, uh, we have the on pause and the on resume method. We have the on stop. We have the copy that tries uh, the logger. You know, saying the copying data from master activity and also calls on the field array or by it says uh an as for loop you know to, to set the accessible and also get the source you have the on touch event okay right on the cube now so that's going to get an action a motion event action down you know which is x and y so it's going to get this position okay uh we have for the action up okay and also for the action move all right Okay, uh, we have if it's full screen opaque, no, it's gonna return true, and the renderer implements the GL surface view renderer. Okay, uh, getting the current time in milliseconds. Uh, we have the constructor. This is a, a, a subclass right inside the main activity, where we have the on surface change. So while the surface is being changed, what's gonna happen? Passing parameters the gl the width and its height okay we have the frame buffer 
that calls on the OpenGS2 constructor. Okay. Now we check the master. If the master is null, we're going to instantiate the word, set the ambient light, which is 20 by 20 and 20. And we're going to set the intensity to the sun, create a texture out of the icon. Okay. Uh, we have the primitives now. This is the cube in question, where we get a cube uh, with the shape of 10. We're going to calculate the texture wrap spherical and set the texture. We have the strip and the build. All right. Now the camera, you know, because the camera is actually going to pick from different angles. If you've actually worked with uh, a 3D drawing, you get to use the camera. Probably in After Effects, you get to use the camera to look at, you know, different angles, you know, of an image. Okay? So the camera is going to move out by 50 and also set the simple vector. Get the transform center to the cube, passing it uh, 100 by 100. All right. Now we have the on surface created, where we have the uh, GL, the EGL config as the parameter. Now we're going to draw the frame. So if the touch tone is not equal to zero, the cube rotates to Y, and the touch tones, and we start shade to zero. So if the touch turn up, with this time, no, we're trying to turn the cube up. Now you're going to see the bottom. Now it's going to rotate to X. Okay, that's just the logic there. And uh, we clear the FB. We render the scene, okay, and draw it up. So we display uh, the cube, the FB. Now we're going to check the system current time milliseconds. If it's greater than or equals to 1,000, okay, uh, the log is going to concatenate the FPS, and also get the current time of the system pass it to time, okay, and iterate the FPS by one. All right, uh, this is just a short uh, introduction to objects, uh, 3D objects in, uh, in Android. You can get the library, you know, get, uh, we have a lot of stuff right in the JPCT library where you can use a lot of functionality out of the objects, uh, 3D objects. And also, uh, I will employ you to get the source file and try it out, you know, launch it in Android Studio and also test it out in uh in an android device don't use an emulator it can uh get uh crushed you know probably because uh 3d effect is not right inside the emulator but if you have a very uh up-to-date emulator you can try it out but try it out in a real device it works smoothly all right i'll be looking at the android manifest uh we have some support screens here for the large screens the normal screens the small screens and any density are all true Okay, our launcher activity that comes out uh, on the main activity, which is the early world class. All right, uh, I'll be showing you some screenshots of this application. You know, actually tested it on a real device. So I will employ you to also do that too. All right. Okay, yeah, I have some screenshots of the application. Okay, we have the first entry screen. All right, can you notice the, the cube? Fine, it's looking so flat here, but when you swivel, uh, the screen, I uh, mean the position to anywhere you want it is going to move in towards the direction. So I'll be showing you some screenshot of it. All right, can you see you're, you're pushing the camera to the top? All right, swiving around it. Can you notice that? So this is a full 3D object right created in an Android application. All right. Okay, thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. Uh, get the source file for my GitHub account, compile it, and test it in a real device. You get the flow of the cube, and you can actually use this in any object, images, name it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.